Let me ask you one final question. You've spent a good part of your adult life in, in the United States. Your children were born here, as I mentioned, you were on this week 26 years ago. When you hear those chants that come up so often uh, in Iran, death to America, death to America, what do you think about that? And what can you say to those Iranians who say death to America? Well, I think they're talking about the policy. They're not talking about the American people. We have been time and again the leader various presidents on the record, that we have no quarrel with the American people. American people are nice, peace-loving, generous people who come to the aid of people in need all over the world. And this is what we respect uh, and uh, have a lot of uh, admiration for. It's the policies of the U.S. government, which has unfortunately been the source of instability in our region for many years. The United States supported dictators. Uh, it would be uh, amazing for American people to know what types of governments in, in our region have been supported by the United States. So we but have the, a ways to go. But, but, the Iranians, but the Iranians feel it with their uh, flesh, the type of regime that governed them because of the support of the U.S. Some other countries in our region continue to experience this. Uh, the fact that the United States supports whatever policy is followed by Israel is another indication that the United States needs to revisit some of its policies and move forward. Dr. Zarif, thank you very much for your time this morning. Welcome back to This Week. Thank you.